Okay. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel or back to my channel. My name is Carmen and today we're gonna be talking about all things study abroad. So if you're interested in studying abroad, you came to the right place. And we're gonna touch all the bases, choosing a program, choosing a location, what to pack, weekend trips, everything in between. So stay tuned. We have a lot to unpack here, so let's get into it. Just to give some background information, um, so I studied abroad in Florence, Italy um, in fall 2022, so last semester, and it was the best semester of my life. Before I even get started, I just wanna say, no matter what, like if you're thinking about studying abroad, stop thinking about it and take action and make it happen. Whatever you, it takes, whatever you have to do, do it, it was truly, the most amazing semester of my life and I'm ready to go back just do it just do it okay first I just want to talk about um, what program I went with what was included and like why I chose Florence I went with a program called AIFS there are a couple programs that my school is like affiliated with so like they'll accept my scholarships if I choose those programs and I think we get like a, a little discount or whatever so I just like went through those and kind of looked at the websites and looked at the location options and things like that and AIFS just stood out to me a little bit I think it was just because like their website was very organized they had a lot of options they had a meal plan they just it was very inclusive which I really liked and I also reached out to them on Instagram and they got back to me super quick and they were super helpful after having like a good first impression of them I was like okay like I really like this company I'm gonna go with them I chose Florence particularly because I just, I was kind of already set on going to Italy. I honestly was down to go anywhere, but Italy was just like, it just attracted me the most. So I was like, okay, I'm going to Italy. And then AIFS had programs in Rome or Florence. And I chose Florence because after doing some research, I just found out that like Florence is a lot smaller. It's a little bit safer than Rome. It's just more of a chill city and I'm not like really that much of like a city girl. So I, I was looking for something more chill. Um, so that's the main reason that I chose Florence. A lot of people ask me if you have to know the language. I didn't know any Italian when I went, when I studied abroad. Obviously it will be helpful. Um, and I know in some countries where they don't speak English as much, it would definitely be useful to speak the language but it's not a requirement or anything like that i knew no italian at all before i left and then to go through like the classes that i took abroad i was in italian 101 um this class called social media journalism and public relations fashion communications and museums of florence and i'm a mass communications major with a minor in psychology so those were just like some of the classes that um, i needed and they all transferred over to my school so let's talk about prices a little bit let's talk about money so the price that's listed on the website for a semester in florence is eighteen thousand five hundred and ninety dollars and i know i know calm down i know that probably gave you a heart attack because that is a very high number um but does include a lot and um i will say that i ended up paying a lot less than that because my scholarships um covered a decent amount of it my scholarships from my home university so i would look into it and see if your scholarships will apply to the program because that is so helpful they also have scholarships um through aifs that you can apply for i applied for many i unfortunately didn't get any but um that's another option your school may have like some study abroad scholarships and there's also like outside ones like just like public scholarships i guess and i'm also very thankful that my parents did help me pay for a large chunk of it so that price includes tuition housing um some like trips are included in it uh for us there is a trip to rome and a trip to venice and siena that were all included in that price there's a meal plan so basically you get a voucher um, that you can use at restaurants throughout the city which is awesome like you literally like you pay with like the vouchers and there's like breakfast ones and dinner ones and you can use them at local restaurants which is like so cool and like it's already paid for and then there's also a flight package which is an additional price 
which um, for me it was about a thousand dollars for the flight um, but you can opt out of that if you want you can find your own flight and try to find a cheaper one but I thought it was easier to just do the flight package because they like get you rides from the airport to your apartment and things like that just a little bit easier in my opinion I just want to say right now that like if that price seems like so out of reach and like so crazy there are definitely cheaper programs than that you can go for shorter amounts of time you can find a different location that's less expensive there's different ways to raise money for it like i said scholarships are definitely out there next i just want to touch on packing a little bit because that's kind of like the first thing that you're like okay what do i pack like i'm ready to go but i don't know what to pack um so that's kind of like the first thing that you like kind of worry about like the first part of the journey yeah, i know you've heard this probably a million times if you've been watching city abroad videos but pack light it's it will truly be a game changer if you pack light so i can't say that i packed extremely light i tried to but it didn't really it didn't really work out that way so i bought like a large checked bag um and then a small carry-on suitcase and a backpack um, and then I also, my parents came to visit me and they brought me a duffel bag on top of all of that so that I could put like the clothes that I bought there in that so my luggage wouldn't be overweight. But that was a lot to carry around, especially on the way home when I had the duffel bag too. It was just like going through airports. It was, it was a lot, but I did it. So it's possible. It's kind of inevitable that you're gonna do some shopping wherever you go. So leave some room so you can, you know, pack the new things that you have. So I'm not gonna go into like super specifics on like what exactly I packed. If you would like me to do a video on packing in general, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments. I do have a um, pack with me video that I've kind of talked about what I'm packing, but I didn't go into too much detail. So. If you would like that video, let me know in the comments. But um, my biggest piece of advice when it comes to packing is to pack versatile pieces. Neutral colors, you know, white tops, black tops, cream tops, gray, things that you can wear over and over again um, with many different outfits. Bring like one pair of denim, one pair of white plant pants, one pair of black pant black jeans, whatever. You don't need like five pairs of denim jeans. You know what I'm saying? Bring your favorite things, favorite pieces of clothing that go with a lot of different outfits. Um, and also a solid pair of white sneakers. You're going to be walking a lot and you are not going to want your feet to be in pain. The ones I had are Adidas. I think they're called Form Bold. I wore them everywhere. I, I They're the only shoes I really wore the whole entire semester. So I honestly could have gone gotten by with just bringing that one pair of shoes. My boots in those are like all I wore. And by boots, I mean knockoff Doc Martens or what I had. So that's really all I'm going to say about packing. Next, I'm going to kind of talk about um, my living situation, what it was like, how I met friends. So I did go alone. I didn't know anyone when I studied abroad, which honestly was one of my favorite parts. So I was randomly assigned roommates and I ended up with six roommates, um, all from the United States, all in the same AIFS program. We didn't know each other. All of us came by ourselves it was great like i became friends with all of them like it was just it was awesome it's really not hard to meet friends like everyone in your program is going to be in the same boat i guarantee you there's going to be other people who don't know anybody definitely don't let not having anyone to go with hold you back so i wasn't like on like a university campus it was just like an aifs building that we had classes in so it was only people in my program that were in classes with me so which makes it so easy to just like become friends with those people because you're you're going to activities with them, you're, you have class with them, you live with them. So it's just, it's it's really not hard to make friends. Everybody wants to make friends. You will find friends. You'll be fine, you'll be fine. So next I just wanted to talk about um, travel. So like weekend trips, how I planned them and all of that. I got to travel a ton while I was abroad, which I'm so thankful for. I got to see a lot of Italy, a lot of europe in general and i'm just like so grateful for for that opportunity so within italy i traveled a lot and i definitely recommend to travel as much as you can in the country that you're living in i just think there's something special about like really immersing yourself like in that country and seeing as much as you can of that country I Went to so many places in italy i was in florence obviously i went to rome um, cinque terre lake como milan venice 
Siena, Chianti, which is like the Tuscan countryside. So Capri, which was one of my favorites, it was beautiful. I think that's all of the places I went with in Italy. I might be, I might be forgetting some, but and then outside of Italy, I went to Vienna and Salzburg, Austria, Budapest, Hungary, Interlaken, Switzerland, London, and Paris. So. Those are all the places I got to see. So you may be wondering like how I managed to plan those trips. They're kind of like two different ways I went about planning. Either one, I did it through a travel company or two, I did it on my own. I would highly, highly recommend doing it through a travel company. So the one that I went through a lot is called Bus to Alps. I did two trips with them. I did the Interlock in Switzerland one, which was incredible. My favorite part of my whole entire study abroad experience, I went skydiving, I got to go up to the Swiss Alps, like it was so cool. I was already organized and planned and so I didn't have to worry about any of that. Um, transportation, honestly, it kind of sucks because it's a bus, an overnight bus. If you're not good at sleeping on buses like me, you're probably gonna be struggling a little bit, but it's so worth it. So I did that one and then I also did one to that went to Budapest, Siena, or Vienna, Salzburg, and Budapest. So those are the two that I did with the travel company. Another travel company is Smart Trip. They also have um, kind of similar trips. It's kind of kind of the same, the same thing, just like different companies. And then for the trips that I planned on my own, I used an app called Omeo to book my flights. I only flew to Paris and to London, and otherwise I took buses or I took the train for places to stay at we just use airbnb um or vrbo verbo i don't really know how to say it but if you do decide to do trips on your own i would highly recommend like having an itinerary like do your research like what is there to do make reservations for dinner and stuff don't just like go there and wing it i mean sometimes that works but i feel like sometimes you're also wasting a lot of time like trying to figure out like the transportation system of the city you're in things like that i would just try to figure out before you go so that you're making the most of your time in the actual place that you're visiting and then as for traveling around italy italy has a great train system i used the app called Trainline to book all of my train tickets around italy and it goes like to so many places it's so easy the train station in florence is walking distance from many places or you can just take a cab so it's really easy i definitely highly recommend taking advantage of that so that's kind of all i have if you have any more like specific questions about italy or just like any more specific questions about study abroad in general um leave them in the comments below i will reply to your comments i promise or i'll make another video um answering any more questions that anybody has if you're thinking about studying abroad do it just do it literally just do it it will be amazing It'll be a great experience, like, I promise, like, just do it. Just do it! Like, I cannot recommend it enough. I hope this video was somewhat helpful. Um, I feel like it was a little bit all over the place. There's just, like, a lot to cover. Um, so if you want me to go into more detail about any of these topics, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more videos like this. And I hope you have a great day. Bye!